Welcome to 247 News Flash. In this edition, a political scientist and lecturer at the University of Ghana, Dr. Abdul Jalil Atiku, says he does not foresee any significant threat to the victory of former President John Dramani Mahama in the National Democratic Congress upcoming presidential election. Dr. Atiku anticipated that the former president will win by a landslide victory in the internal polls. He said none of the presidential hopefuls who have declared their intentions to contest on the tickets of the NDC comes out stronger than Mr. Mahama. The former president has overwhelmingly been endorsed by some party members, including the minority caucus, groups and individuals. Leadership of the New Patriotic Party has made a cash donation of 10,000 Ghana cities to support the family of the late Christian Achu, General Secretary of the NPP, Justine Kudria, alongside National Organizer of the Party, Henry Nana Buache, Nasara Coordinator, Aziz Harun Afuta, and other officials commiserated with the family of the late footballer. A former governor of the Bank of Ghana, Dr. Komna Dufo, has picked forms to contest in the upcoming National Democratic Congress presidential primary. Nominations opened on Wednesday, February 22, and already John Mahama has picked his forms. Dr. Dufo has been touring the country, canvassing votes from party members. There was a widespread shortage of some vaccines used for routine immunization of babies from birth to at least 18 months. The situation has the potential to increase the vulnerability of children to the diseases the vaccines seek to protect them against. Under a routine vaccination program, Basley County, a vaccine for tuberculosis disease, oral polio vaccine zero, measles, rubella, meningitis, and diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis are administered. In business, a total of 36 oil marketing companies owe the National Petroleum Authority some 190 million Ghana cities. About 80% of the money is owned by 8 out of the 36 companies. Some of the OMCs have also failed to renew their licenses for over 2 years, including other infringements as a result of which their licenses have been revoked. Chief Executive Officer of the NPA, Dr. Mustafa Abdul Hamid, who disclosed this, said his outfit was working in collaboration with the Economic and Organized Crime Office to retrieve all monies that were accrued from margins, levies or taxes on fuels which had not been accounted for by the OMCs. In business, Germany is ready to engage other development partners yet to sign to the creditors committee and the Ghana's the domestic debt exchange program. The German Federal Minister of Economic Cooperation and Development, Ms. Sveja Schuzel, has said to bring the country on the path of debt sustainability, the government is pursuing a DDEP to restructure on both domestic and external debt. In the domestic debt, Ghana is seeking to restructure 137 billion Ghana cities of its own domestic debt. On the global front, a Nigerian senatorial candidate was on Wednesday shot dead and his body burned by attackers while on his way from a campaign rally in the southern east of Enugu. The death of Oyibo Chuku of the Labour Party happened three days before Saturday's general elections, which have been described as the country's most competitive polls in 24 years. Its aides who were with him were also shot dead before the car was set ablaze with the bodies inside, local outlet report. Chuju K. Idioga, a candidate for the governor's seat in the state, said their party members are being targeted for assassination by political parties that felt threatened by the rise of the Labour Party in the state and are afraid they may lose the Saturday's election. Ugandan President Yoriya Museveni and Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky have held talks for the first time, according to a statement by the Ukrainian presidency. A tweet by the Ukrainian president said he outlined the Ukrainian peace initiatives by the UN. He said they also discussed the potential for the development of the bilateral relations. Mr. Zelensky said he expected close cooperation, especially in strengthening food security. It came as the 193 member UN General Assembly met to debate a Ukraine-backed motion calling for a vote on resolution for achieving peace in Ukraine.
In sports this evening, Liberian President Jordan Pomwe has reportedly visited the late Christian Atruth family and donated money following his death. Mr. Wea sent an entourage led by former Ghana player Kwame Ayu to commiserate with the family on behalf of President George Wea. An eulogy was presented to the family and also a cash donation of $10,000. Kwame Ayu is reported to have visited the family home of Christian Atru to make the donation on behalf of George Wea in the company of some members of the Liberian community in Ghana on Wednesday, February 22, 2023. Guardiola may have appeared in a positive mood after the game in Germany and an away draw in a European knockout game is certainly not a result to be sniffed at but it will likely still frustrate him that his side have not turned their recent dominance into more goals. At full time on Wednesday, Guardiola gathered his players in a huddle to remind them they had plenty to be positive about. Guardiola said they should keep their heads up and was hopeful they would arrive in good condition. In entertainment, Togolese professional footballer Shay Emmanuel Adebayo has publicly declared his support for Ghanaian film director, producer Fred Nyama in the upcoming National Democratic Congress parliamentary primaries. Adebayo disclosed his solidarity on his official Facebook page with a photo of Fred Nyama's campaign notice. He wrote, quote, My brother, Frederick Nyama, has officially picked up forms to contest in the parliamentary primaries of NDC in Ayawaso West Ogon constituency. That is equally my home and I fully support support you unquote let's make this happen by the grace of god the actor director and producer is contesting to represent the ndc in a also west wagon constituency coming general elections in 2024 Finally, in the news, Ghanaian female artist Felinuna has released a new exotic video for her Boom Boom song. She said that in a society where women are body shamed and peer pressured into cosmetically altering their bodies, Boom Boom reminds them to be confident, appreciate and love themselves. Boom Boom discusses the freedom to properly express oneself. The music video created by Israel Trecraft challenges reality, treating your eyes to a burst of colors from a front row seat adventure to the Feli Verse. Feli Nuna is an excellent singer and rapper known for producing hits such as Afro Magic, Dream, Get Away, Love Me Now, Wanted, her latest trending song, Tao, and more. That'll be it for the news this evening. Thank you for watching.